Well, hi guys, this is Sally Scrapbook Giggles. This is my second video for the evening. I'm really on a roll here. Um, I'm going to be showing you in this video a uh, mini album that I'm going to be listing on eBay. And uh, I've been working on this uh, mini for like two weeks. I plan to get it done Monday and get it listed Tuesday, but I had a wonderful, wonderful surprise because some great friends of ours came and they came Sunday night and stayed till Wednesday morning and we had such a good time so uh, of course I put everything crafting aside and enjoyed visiting with my friends uh, Wayne and Jennifer we had such a good time with them and so um, then for Valentine's Day my hubby took me out of town to see my youngest son and his wife they just moved uh, the week after Christmas and I haven't seen them since so I was really missing them so that turned out to be a great great Valentine's evening and it was such a good surprise for me and I loved it best gift that I could have had and uh, but everyone always wants to know what paper I'm using and so let me go ahead and tell you up front it's this Rooster Provincial and I uh, picked this up at I'm thinking Michael's oh my goodness I'm not sure <laughs> but anyway um, that's what I've used and let me move this out of the way I'm so glad you guys cannot see my work area because my desk I just got done with this mini album and I've just kind of pushed everything away so I'll get all that cleaned up but this is the mini now I have done um, two I have used two ladies inspiration for this mini this is the stack the deck binding that Laura Dennison came up with following the paper trail but I actually um, I have seen her tutorial, Laura's, but I came across Tamika, her tutorial at Scrap the World, S-C-R-A-P-D-A-W-R-L-D. Uh, her tutorial was just so simple and easy to follow. I, I really enjoyed it, and uh, I did that. And um, as you can see, my embellishing is so overboard, but I love it. I love minis like this. So anyway, this is going to go on eBay. I don't know if I'll get it on there later tonight or tomorrow because right now it is 10 o'clock here. And so I don't know if I'm going to stay up, you know, late enough to get all that done. But anyway, the front, um, now this is made with thick chipboard, the front and back cover. And what you're seeing here is a little wooden fence. And I have inserted in that this tag. I'm going to just kind of lay it like this. And this tag is really cute. I have some chicken wire on it. My hubby bought me an entire roll of chicken wire. And I sat and cut some pieces of this to use in some of my projects. Uh, if some of you ladies want to purchase some of this chicken wire, because I have a roll of it, and it's kind of time consuming to cut it. But... um I curled the ends of mine so there wouldn't be any jagged edges that would stick me when I'm working with it. But if you do want some, I could cut it like in maybe six by six. You know, and they're not going to be exact because chicken wire is just, you know, like that. Like this one. You see how it turned out. Um, this is just a smaller piece because I cut some off it. But anyway, I could just stick some in padded envelopes and mail it out if any of y'all want to buy just some of the pieces for your projects. And um, But what I was going to say, if you get it, you know, be careful and you would need to use, you know, like these little tweezers, um, not tweezers, I guess you could use tweezers actually, but this is little beading tools and just curl these ends under so that they don't stick you when you're working with it. But anyway. If you want to buy some, just give me a little message. Um, anyway, the tag is so cute. I love it. And there's a little tag that actually goes behind the chicken wire. And you can see I've done the corrugated cardboard. I've done some gesso on that. Really, really pretty. I love it. I've got some charms hanging here. That's a pitchfork and a little crown. There's a rooster here. So... I love the tag. I really love it. So anyway, let me show you the remaining of it. Now because it has so many embellishments, this is the closure, which is a chain 
and these little clasps. Uh, but let me go ahead and finish here. There's a, a Tim Holtz rosette here and uh, a little flower from Michaels. Down here I've got two of the Tim Holtz rosettes I made and some embellishing here. And look, there's a little chicken there. I don't know if you can see it good. So cute. And the chain actually has some charms hanging there. So if I can let you see those. I love charms. So this just, just unclip it. I'm just going to get that out of the way so that we can open the album. And this page, this is so chunky, guys. It's going to be hard to make this video. My goodness. I'm sorry, my uh, camera, the thing I've got it on is just rocking around. My goodness. Let me see if I can move it a tad. I think it was on level. There we go. Maybe that would be better. I'll try to move my camera a little bit, guys. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Now, this has a little little wallet type thing that unfolds for some photos. I'll give you room for some little photos there. And over here on the other side, we've got a tag that's stuck in there. And this came out of the paper stack. They have a couple of sheets that has all these tags that you can cut out. Here's a photo mat here. And on this page, now I also had a goal for this mini that on every two page spread, there would be number one, a stick pin, either on this or this, each two page spread, there's going to be a stick pin and a dangly charm, something that dangles. So I have done that. Love this paper. This actually didn't come from the paper stack. It came from a, a single page that I got at Hobby Lobby. So here's our stick pin, really gorgeous. I love making the stick pins. And you've got two flowers here, some buttons here, some doilies, really pretty. And I'm gonna just um, go ahead and show you the tags. See, each page has an opening and there are some tags down in here. Well, I said there was. <laughs> you know, I really should have cut out a little opening on this. So here's our tag for this page and so this page this is another tag some flowers here some more flowers a button a flower here I love this and this opens up so you can put two to photos in here and over here Isn't this paper pretty? Uh, I did some stamping on some twill trim here. I love this color, this rosette. The green went so well with this paper. And here's a little charm, the dangle part that actually uh, hangs on the stick pin. So I've got my stick pin and my dangly on here. Guys, I really love this album. The tag for this page. And this just is another one of those little wallet things that opens and you can put photos in there. This page, we've got our photo mat here. This is just a little belly. One of the little tags. I made a paper clip here and I actually covered a button. I put some little uh, fiber fill in there and uh, some fabric, and I covered that button. Really cute. I love it. Love the way it turned out. And here's a rosette that I made. And this actually picks up, opens up, should I say. And in here, you've got a little pocket here that you could uh, add more tags or a photo down in there. And more tags can go in here. And your photo over here on this side we've got our stick pin here and our dangly part here I really loved giving myself a little uh, goal for the album a couple of little goals that way it just kind of brings it all together and um, the 
the mat here has a it's a pocket so you could put your photos down in here you could put several actually and here's a little tag and the thing about these mini albums is you can put a lot of photos in them and you can put a lot more than it looks like you know for instance you might think that only one photo per page but actually you know of course when you do this you've got room for two photos but you've also got the pockets so I love the pockets and then of course each page is a pocket itself so another tag front and back photos wonderful wonderful space and here we go this page love the stick pen on this one I don't know if you can see that good anyway and it has the dangly here some charms dangling. These are leaves. I love them. Love this little journaling, journaling spot here. Love that. This is something that I got from Kathy Orta. Um, so, you know, the two ladies I was telling you about, one, of course, uh, was Laura following the paper trail. The stack, the deck binding is her design, or I guess her what, what she came up with. And uh, this little thing here that actually goes down inside and is attached um, I got this from a video that I saw from Kathy Orta and I want to be sure and give everybody credit for something that I use so this just opens up several several photos can go in here and it is attached uh, I just thought I would use some burlap and I took that and put it down inside this pocket here and made this little little mini within a mini and in each page of it there's a pocket and there's tags in here so my goodness look at all the photos front and back on the tag that you could do and of course well I have to work with that in a minute <laughs> okay guys so there you, you get the gist of what's going on there lots and lots of space for photos really pretty I love the red here this is a tag this is a pocket, so you've got your photo mat here, and this little tag, you could actually journal on the back, of course, or photo. And I'm thinking, yeah, no, I thought that was a pocket, but it's not. So Over here, I've done a little technique, which is just, um, I used my embossing folder with some red cardstock, and then I inked it with some walnut ink, and tore, put that under layered that under this paper and tore this away did some distressing inking and I love the technique it kind of looks like chicken wire if you can see that really cute I just did some embellishing here's my stick pen this is a dangly but of course this is a dangle too I love it love the way this album turned out guys it's really gorgeous really thick full full here you have another pocket here. Photo mat, photo mat, photo mat. Here is the little stick pin here. And the little dangle here is two little roses on some beads. So cute. Love that. And if you want to see the still pictures of this, you can always go to the eBay listing um, this week. Of course, it's only going to be on eBay for seven days. So I'll tell you what, it's going to also be on my blog. So you can look at the still pictures on my blog. And that is scrapbookgiggles.blogspot.com. Okay, ladies, and here is this page. Here's the photo album here. Love this little arrangement here with the key and the florals here. And the key is the dangle, actually, for this one. And here's the stick pen for this two-page layout. And over here, you've got a pocket, and you've got several little tags that are down in there. Really, really cute. And this one is a little pocket that you could hide away some things in there. Note, pictures, whatever you want to do in that. So there you have that, and of course I didn't show you this, this, it's just like the other tag, so the tags are plain just so that you can put your photos on them. So ladies, there you have it. 
That is this very chunky mini album that is going to be on eBay. So take a look at my blog if you want to see some steel pictures. And ladies, I'm also having a tuna box, ultra tuna box challenge. Go check that out. I'm giving away some great little things if you want to join that challenge and um, participate. You might be the winner of that little giveaway. So check out the videos on that, ladies. And thanks for watching.